doing the intro. All right. Hello, everyone. This is Lego My Lego 920 here, and I'm here with uh, my friend Bailey, which is Orcus55. Hola. Say hello. Hello. <laughs> to have the voice changing thing. Do I? <laughs> Try no. it. Oh, do the voice changing right. thing? Okay. Yeah. Hello. Good one. Thank you. So, for this recording, guys, we are going to be doing a podcast on Jurassic World Dominion. We're going to break everything down and stuff. Also, here's your spoiler warning. If you have not seen Jurassic World Dominion, make sure you click away right now or something. If you guys don't want to be spoiled, that is. If you don't want to be spoiled about the movie, then leave now. And then come back to this video when you see it. <laughs> yes, exactly. Would you like to start us off, Bailey? Well, uh... Let's talk about the dinosaurs, like the new dinosaurs are in the movie. Yes, those. Speaking of that, give me a sec. Where is it? There it is. The fantastic Giganotosaurus on gameplay footage. <laughs> yeah, they made these different kinds of dinosaurs that kind of reminds us of, of all kinds of animals, you know, when they got fur and stuff. Fur or feathers, yeah. Like, uh, yeah. for instance, the Therizinosaurus right here. Yes. And I know these things are, there's not, I know those aren't dinosaurs, but they got these little, uh, mos those big mosquito things. Oh, the, uh, locusts? Yeah. Yeah, the giant bugs, yeah. The locusts are, like, pretty much the main antagonist in this movie, pretty much. Yes. Even though they're not dinosaurs per se, but uh, they are giant bugs that were in the Cretaceous period or the when dinosaurs were alive. Uh, apparently, the Giganotosaurus is fighting Rexy again. Fantastic. Yes. Yeah, exactly. Like when they're in the beginning with the two children that's at that farm where they had to hide in that barn. And of course, when they were around the forest and stuff, even when they got flames all over yeah like uh, there was a lot of dinosaurs like there was no, like new raptors like the atrocer raptor even though they're not in this game otherwise i would but they're not in this game right now so i couldn't i can't show it i could probably i could probably editing my uh, my editing me can uh pull up a picture of it <laughs> when i'm editing this <laughs> and i know the movie started off basically when claire was working with the two people uh, Zia uh, and Franklin. Yep, which are the two people from Fallen Kingdom. So when I'm glad that they're visit... still hoping. I'm glad that they're still helping the dinosaurs. Sorry that I interrupted you. <laughs> but... yeah, especially with the the uh, like where they where the dinosaurs were kind of kept in like a barn and stuff. I think they said it was like a breeding farm that they were doing. Like it, it was an illegal breeding farm. Gladly and later on, we saw that the DFW handled that. Gladly. Yep. And then of course they didn't have the opening scene on what we gotten from the internet. The prologue? Where, the, where it's at the theater. Yeah, the prologue. Yeah, we didn't... Yeah, like speaking of the prologue, I have the prologue T-Rex right here. I'm assuming that you're watching the thing uh, when I'm sharing my screen on Discord here. But uh, yeah, yeah this is the yeah. prologue T-Rex from the prologue, and it's a feather T-Rex. And this is practically Rexy before she was cloned for Jurassic Park and also in Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom and now Jurassic World Dominion. Yep. So this is what and she looked I... like before she was cloned. <laughs> and then... It jumped on to the uh, next screen where there's Owen Grady working with some like uh, nature or something uh, workers on the horses where they're uh, luring some of those kinds of dinosaurs. Do you know what they're called, Bailey? Parasaurolophus. 
It's the dinosaur that yep. I'm viewing right now. It's the Parasaurolophus, and it was actually this dinosaur, this patterned Parasaurolophus that kind of looks like the Lost World para from uh, from Jurassic Park, the Lost World on Site B. But uh, which they did mention Site B in the movie. They haven't showed it, but they did mention it. <laughs> And then, of course, cut to the scene at the log house that Owen and Claire live in, where they were taking care of the girl that has the last name of Lockwood. Maisie. Maisie Lockwood. Maisie Lockwood. Yeah. When they were biking across the bridge to that, uh, where they showed that tall dinosaur. <laughs> the Apatosaurus? Yes, the Apatosaurus. Where is it? I'll show it. Here's the Apatosaurus. The Apatosaurus right here. Yep. This very dinosaur on mainland. I think they were in yep. Nevada, I think. Yep. Yeah. And then, then after everything, like with with uh, Miss Hughes, Maisie ad, you know, with uh, Claire when she argued, and of course with Owen a little at the campfire and stuff. Yeah. Uh, yep. Like they're that living in the cabin that Owen Grady was building in Fallen Kingdom. That's the same cabin. Yep. And then of course where you notice that Blue has had a baby. That By the name of Beta. The... Yep. Then of course when they had the people that were actually criminals that not only abducted Beta, but also abducted Maisie too. I'm surprised they didn't abduct Blue, but that's probably because they didn't need Blue at that point. Yep. They needed Blue in Fallen Kingdom, but not in Dominion. Yep. Well, they and... kind of needed Blue, kind of, because Beta is a clo basically a clone of Blue. Yep. And where they also uh, showed Alan Grant at the canyon in Utah. And yeah. then, of course, there was... Like, uh, he was still digging up dinosaur built, uh, dinosaur fossils. Still doing that. Yep. And then, uh, and... later on, then Ellie Sattler showed up. Yep. So. And then, of course, where they met up with, uh, Ian Malcolm. And some guy f that's from the first Jurassic Park that made a return that is... Bad news. Lewis Dodson. Or Dodson. Yeah. Which Works is for Biosyn. Had... He's the CEO of yep. Biosyn now. And he had Dennis in the first Jurassic Park steal the dino DNA. Yeah, in like the Barbasol can. Yep. After all, Lewis Dodson was pretty much the main the main villain in the movie. Yep. Because, like, okay, so people are watching on my side, watching the gameplay while we're talking. We're currently at one of the locations that are in the movie, which is the Biosyn Valley. Because there's the research compound right here. So, yep. I'm also doing a let's, or a let's play on the new DLC that I'm currently playing on right now for Jurassic World Evolution 2. If I'm... I recorded it yesterday. I haven't started editing it, though, yet. So if you guys want to watch that, stay tuned. <laughs> and, you know, Owen and Claire traveled to the area to look for Maisie. Owen met up with the guy that was from the first Jurassic World. Yeah, Barry. Because uh, Barry helped Owen train the Raptors. Like, the Raptor Squad, Blue, Delta, Echo, and Charlie. But since Charlie, Delta, and Echo are dead because of the Indominus from the first Jurassic World movie and stuff. Yep. I'm not even going to say spoilers. I'm pretty sure everybody has seen it by then. But... Because that movie came out in 2015. But, um... Because... So he made a return in dominion and he what was he i think was he like a french like french operative or something i don't know he was like a specialist or something yep yeah so he they were trying to who were they trying to catch say ona uh, santos 
I think it's her yep. name. Sayona Santos is. Well, uh, she was trying to capture. That's what Barry was who was trying to capture. Owen helped. Same thing with Claire, but uh, they were both in Malta. Both got chased by Charles Raptors, which uh, especially when Maisie was already at the lab, and when the the main guy that's from the first Jurassic Park, especially in both the Jurassic World movies, then. And then, of course, where Owen and the others left the the place and, uh, of course, was on the crashed into a, a mountain where it's all with all the snow and stuff. Yeah, and then that's where we see a certain dinosaur there. Yeah, the pyroraptor. So this feathered raptor. Yes, that's the one that's in Dominion. Uh huh. And I know this funny scene with um, uh, Maisie where he flipped off the guy. That's actually Dr. Henry Wu. The yeah, one who Henry created Wu. the Indominus Rex, Scorpius Rex, and Indoraptor. All those three hybrids. Yeah. So. And I know Maisie got to meet up with Alan Grant and I. Still can't remember the woman from the first Jurassic Park's name. Ian Malcolm. Not Ian Malcolm. Although her buddy, his buddy, was helping the three escape and stuff. Ramsey. Yep, Ramsey. Ramsey Cole. Yep. Yeah. So he's a brand new character. Same thing with uh, Kalo. Kayla Watts, the pilot. She's also yep. a new character to the franchise, so we don't know anything about them. It's just that Kayla is a pilot that you used to be a pilot for the Air Force. Yep. And Ramsey was working with Biosyn. And we noticed while Owen and the 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 chick when they were uh Buying a, a dinosaur, we noticed that Claire crashed somewhere, and then of course was in the pond, which we see in a teaser, and of course in one of the trailers. Yeah, because when he, she had to go into the water, she was being stalked by the Thera right here. There's in the Yeah. Yep. And then of course where they cut through those. Uh, Dinosaurs that seemed uh, cute, but but were dangerous, spraying the stuff, you know, that ended up with Claire. But then when Owen uh, saved Claire, you know, when he grabbed onto the dinosaur and... Oh, know. the Dilophosaurus? Yep. Yeah, we and all know... know that the Dilophosaurus is not, uh, not a... It's very dangerous. It's not that cute you could tell that it's a ian malcolm got to help uh alan grant and the other doctor as well as Maisie escape the area alan until grant when they... and ellie sattler yep ellie sattler and while they met up with owen and claire and the other chick uh kayla kayla watts yep and it's amazing, like after all the chaos with the with the big dinosaur, the, while it was all the Giganotosaurus. Yeah. Here, let me go back to that dinosaur. Yeah. This and thing. if you remember, if you remember what what Ian Malcolm's pet in the trailer with that dinosaur, well, it he said that in a different scene. Bigger. Why do they always have to be bigger? That's like the first yeah. time he sees the Giganotosaurus, and he's like, "Why does it always have to be bigger?" Yeah. And and of course, when everything was calm at the moment, Owen Grady did tell Alan Grant that he read his book, and Alan Grant did say that he saw Owen on the video uh, train the, the Raptors as well as Ellie. Well, like, I think he's, uh, cause when he's hurt, when Alan Grant heard, uh, Owen's name, Owen Grady, it's like, Owen Grady, I heard that name before. You trained raptors. 
which is yeah. blue right here, and then the rest of the Raptor squad and stuff. Yes, blue, I know. <laughs> oh, uh, and, like, uh, yeah, I wish that we had more screen time with blue, if you think about it. Yeah. And if you remember when Ian and Malcolm asked Owen you, that he made a promise in the dinosaur, which from the trailer, but in the movie, Owen Gray was like, yeah, why when when Ian Malcolm asked that he's carrying a dinosaur in his back? I think it, it like when they said that they were going to go save Beta and they were like, who's Beta? And then every, uh, what did Kayla say? Velocir uh, she said Velociraptor and she, Ellie was like, what? Yeah, like she was so like worried that they were gonna go save a baby Velociraptor just uh, by the name of Beta, which looks identical yeah. to Blue. Even though Beta, I don't know if you noticed this, but like uh, you know, like the talon claws that uh the Raptors have, like you could yep. uh, like you could see it on Blue right here. Like there's like her talon claw on Beta's. One of hers is broken off. I don't know if you noticed yeah. that detail or not, but like Beta's uh, claws, one of them, I think it was on her right foot, I think, is broken. So, yeah, I guess that you could tell which one is Beta and which one is Blue if one of them is uh, one of the talent claws are broken. Yep. Otherwise, they're pretty much <laughs> you can't separate them otherwise. Yep. Uh, I do remember that one scene where Lewis Dachson got what he deserved, like with every other bad Jurassic Park character and world character. Once again, spoilers. If you don't want to get spoiled, leave. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> like, click away if you haven't seen that, if you don't want to get spoiled. Yeah, because we don't want to spoil it for you guys. So, if you don't want. Obviously, it would be like the title of this video will have will say spoilers and probably in the thumbnail as well. Don't know yet, but uh, if you don't want to get spoiled, yeah. to leave. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, a lot of funny moments with Ian Malcolm, though. Especially that one with Ian Malcolm and Owen Grady when they were talking about like how Owen trains the Raptors, and then Ian was talking about his dog. <laughs> Yeah, and then of course in the ending, both uh, Dr. Alan Grant and Ellie did make out, even though Ellie was married in the third Jurassic Park. Well, he as she said later, uh, like in the beginning, near the beginning of the movie, which was when Ellie and Alan just met up again, they said that they split up, they got a divorce. So Ellie is not married no more. She's currently I single. See. Yeah. Although she still has the little son. She has two sons. <laughs> Cause in two J sons. Yeah, in Jurassic Park 3, she had a baby in her hand. And remember when Alan was playing with uh, Charlie <laughs> in uh, JP3 or Jurassic Park 3 in the sand pet uh, with the toy dinosaurs and stuff? Yeah, and then mm -hmm. Ellie came up, and then she was, she had a baby in her hand. Yeah, she has two sons, and they both, and she said that they're both in college now. Mm -hmm. Which is good for them. <laughs> yeah, oh, boy. There's like, I really do love the dinosaurs in this movie. I really, really do. Yeah, so do I. <laughs> Like, the CGI in it is fantastic and stuff, so I have no complaints about the CGI or anything Same about the dinosaurs. Here. Yeah, but I do think Jurassic World Dominion has been a masterpiece. Well, in and our opinions, I... in our opinions, it's a masterpiece. And I think uh, Jurassic World Dominion should have gotten maybe a good mess score instead of a bad one. I mean, the audience overall did like it, but like the Rotten Tomatoes and stuff and the uh, stuff for that rating is just 
gone downhill for that one but overall like the yeah. audience reviews they love it otherwise which is more than yeah. jurassic world i think last time i checked yes and of course jurassic world dominion did have some success too yeah like it's because uh before i before we did this recording I watched other people's reviews, and some people loved it, some people hated it, some people were like, eh, about it, and, it's like, the one thing that I did enjoy is that, like, it's all, like, action-packed. I did like that. I did like that feeling for that. Because then I'm, like, super excited and stuff. Yeah. Especially that chase in Malta with the Atrocer afters. That was an awesome scene. Yeah. And I probably will watch Jurassic World Dominion again when it comes out on digital. Either we I we buy the movie on digital or I watch it like for streaming, like either HBO Max or Peacock, because my mom did say we might get the streaming service Peacock. Yeah, like, I know for sure I am going to be watching it, like, a thousand times over and over and over yeah. and over again. It was just <laughs> that good to me. I did absolutely love it. I enjoyed watching Jurassic World Dominion, especially that I saw it twice. I saw it with my father, then I saw it with you guys and yeah. stuff. And I thoroughly enjoyed watching Jurassic World Dominion. I, like, I saw it twice, even though, like, and Jonathan kept on asking me questions about it. But, like, he, like, while we're watching, he just leans over to me and be like, What dinosaur is that? And I'm like, Therosinosaurus. <laughs> very yeah. aggressive, very territorial. <laughs> but, yep. like, A, it's fine. I'm the dinosaur nerd in my friend group, anyways. Yes, Rexy, yep. I know. Yep. Uh, we'll, have to, we'll have to talk to, about some other movies to look forward to down the line that's around the rest of this year. Yeah, like, if we, if you and I both saw it, then yeah, definitely. I'm definitely looking forward to uh, Thor Love and Thunder, which is coming out next month. Yeah, I know you are. I know you're enjoying or going to go see that indefinitely. I don't know about me though, yeah. but uh, yeah, I overall, me and Odin both loved this movie. Overall, we did. We both loved Jurassic World Dominion. Overall, like uh, yep. we loved the dinosaurs that were in it, the Atrociraptors. We loved returning dinosaurs like the Mosasaurus and the jumps out of the ocean and stuff and um obviously rexy uh, and blue and triceratops sinoceratops nizutoceratops allosaurus carnotaurus so many others that returned from fallen kingdom and battle at big rock and stuff so it, we overall enjoyed it we also really in love loved uh new dinosaurs like the giga and the Dreadnoughtus and Dimetrodon, Trosoraptor, Pyroraptor, um, Microceratus. Uh, there, there's way more, but I can't name them all. I sure did enjoy uh, the Jurassic World cast working with the Jurassic Park cast. That I really enjoyed. That was awesome. Yep. Like, that's, right. that's probably why I loved it so much when those two actually interacted, especially Owen and Alan saying when Alan said, you trained raptors and stuff. That was that's awesome. I, I feel like that they were that they would do something with that anyways. But uh, I wanted to see how Colin Trevorrow would have done the interaction. Yeah. All right, since that's everything we just broke down. Well, I, there's more, like but I, we're not going to break it and break the whole movie down. <laughs> nah, we we're just giving we're just giving like our 
reviews on it or like what we thought of the movie. Uh, yeah. You want to do the outro or should I? I'll I'll do the outro. Okay. So, bef- so everyone, before I end the video, the rest of the movies that I am looking forward to the rest of the year was Thor Love and Thunder next month, which I just said. And uh, Clerks 3, which there's no release date for that yet, but I know it's going to come out in the fall. Then after Clerks 3, is the I'm going to see the second Black Panther, which is called Black Panther Wakanda Forever. And then after Black Panther Wakanda Forever, I'm going to see the second Avatar movie in December called Avatar The Way of the Wire. Yeah, instead of the Mario movie, since that's going to be delayed to April of next year. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked what you saw, make sure you like and subscribe and leave a comment down below. And make sure you subscribe to uh, to uh, my friend Bailey, Orcris55. And of course, I'll leave a link to his channel in the description. And make sure you... Uh, yeah, I'll leave yeah. Uh, for my video. I will leave uh, Odin's channel in my description so you guys can go and subscribe to him as well. Yep. And of course, I will leave the link to my Discord fan server to join also. But yes, I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye. Want to say bye, Bailey? See you later, guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Later. Yeah.